On Monday, around the Bay Area and around the country, people paused to celebrate Juneteenth, the new federal holiday commemorating freedom and the end of slavery. It's also a chance to appreciate how far we have come and to acknowledge how far we still need to go when it comes to issues of race and equity. A few weeks ago, I had the privilege of meeting a local businessman who knows a great deal about overcoming obstacles. I sat down with him again yesterday to continue our conversation about his remarkable journey. It's a blessing to be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> We're on University Avenue in East Palo Alto. Those familiar golden arches and the golden opportunity for Larry Triplett when he opened here in 1988, his first McDonald's franchise. Well, today, Larry, I want you to enjoy your restaurant on this side of the counter. Let me buy you lunch. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm all for that. Plus, we need the business. That's great. <laughs> so I'll help you out a little bit. In reality, he's helping me tell a great American success story, one of hardship and hard work, prejudice and perseverance, a story that started at his grandparents' farm in Arkansas and the cotton fields where he worked in the hot southern sun. Here he is at 10. And that was about the time his uncle, living in the Bay Area, brought him out here. As a young man, he worked at a McDonald's where he learned about customer service and the power of a smile. A smile goes a long way in life. Listen. I smiled my way into a whole lot of jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the truth is, Larry, I did too. <laughs> I did too. A smile may have helped, but it was his education that led him to a job as a teacher and then high school principal in Los Angeles. After 16 years, Larry went from L.A. educator to Bay Area businessman. Having been a McDonald's employee, he was ready to become an owner. I won't lie to you, this is a tough store to open. I opened when it was all the issues you saw, the murders and the sure. things that happened in East Palo Alto. It was a big deal in 1988 for an African-American to own and operate a McDonald's franchise anywhere, and certainly in East Palo Alto. A big enough deal that Esther Roll from the TV show Good Times and Coretta Scott King were both there for the grand opening. They added pride and pressure. It had to work. This had to work. <laughs> I mean, you know, Coretta Scott King, Esther Rowe. It did work. After the first store, a second, then a third. Today, Larry owns and operates nine McDonald's restaurants. An example of what's possible. But in a week where the nation celebrated Juneteenth, reflections from a man whose ancestors picked cotton just as he did, only as slaves. What does that mean to you with where we are today in America and where we still have to come? Well, I think, listen, We'd be naive to say we haven't made, made any progress, but we've got a long way to go. We, ju we just have to be re real about that. We've got a, got a long way to go. And I'm even more honored to introduce the man himself, yeah. Larry Triplett. This is where we met last month, the grand opening of Oakland's first Ronald McDonald House, a place where the families of sick children can stay free of charge. Larry made a substantial donation. It's a cause he's supported for decades. What do you want to leave as your legacy in life? I want to know that I did something that made some sort of difference. He sure did make some sort of difference. The new Ronald McDonald House in Oakland bears Larry's name, recognizing his significant donation and his longtime commitment to Ronald McDonald House Charities a Bay Area. One of the McDonald's that Larry owns is near the huge house at Stanford, as you know, Ama, that provides a place to stay for 123 families. Every Friday for more than 20 years, Larry has provided free meals to everyone ah, staying there. That is incredible. Right? And Amazing. great to hear his story. Yeah, great man. Yeah.